Hello and welcome, this is Kara, and I am going to start a new journal using the Southwest Succulents Kit. Um, I'm super excited. This is uh, kind of a Southwest, like it says, but there's some Arizona re references. Um, that's where I live. And so I kind of wanted to show you what I think I'm gonna do. In my stash, I had this Arizona traveler guidebook to the wildflowers so somehow i'm either going to make tags or journaling cards or something with this i might even take a couple pages out and put them in the journal we'll get to this in a minute and then i also have some a 1971 1966 arizona highway book these are just gorgeous um it's hard to rip the pages out honestly but i ripped out these two because they are the cactus blooming and I think it's perfect to kind of have real images go with the kit. So I thought these were just stunning images. And then here's the back. Really fun. So those are going to go in the journal and I think this is the book that also had, isn't that beautiful? They're just really fun. It's Memory Lane of Arizona. <laughs> sad that it doesn't quite look the same anymore. Um, is this the book? I think this is the one that I get. Yeah, this is like our backyard. <laughs> um, not really. This is not my backyard, but this is what you see <laughs> driving around. Um, okay. No, nope, this isn't the one. In this one, there are little, I think it was this one. Isn't that owl just so cute? But this page, I just looked and thought, oh, look how cool this page is. And these are definitely like journal card size. So I want to come back to this um, to make some ephemera. There's a, I think that's a, yep, a roadrunner. <laughs> so fun. Yep, there's a little roadrunner. All right, so... Um, I'm gonna keep this, set this aside, but we'll do that in a little bit. Not not today, I think we'll do the ephemera later. I wanna get to the journal, but I'm gonna put that in my basket. <clears throat> and then I printed um, double-sided on the journal pages. They turned out really well using the background sheets. And then I have some coffee dyed paper. I think I'm gonna do some stenciling on a few of these. And then I printed the ephemera on um, some cardstock so that it's thicker. And then when I printed this journaling page on cardstock, I was bummed. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it kind of lost some of the color. So I think I'm gonna stick with the one I printed on my, my better paper and just back it with the cardstock so it's nice and sturdy because I just love the vibrant colors. And then I did the same with tags. Now look what else I did. Oh my gosh. This is vellum. And I was thinking, I wonder, can you see? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I was wondering how it would work on vellum. And I have a laser printer. I don't know how this would work on an inkjet, but look, isn't that cool? And I don't know if it's going to be a journaling page or if I'm going to make like a window page in the journal or an envelope. I don't know. I just, I'm all, all giddy about it. <laughs> and then this one too. So pretty on the vellum. I think it'd be really fun for like a window see-through thing. But look, it's gorgeous. So if you have a laser or try it with an inkjet, I don't know. Um, print it on vellum and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> it's super cool. All right, let me set this aside and then let's talk about the cover. I was watching the YouTube and I came across Artie Mays and she, well, she just inspires me. Let's just be honest, right? Um, and she made a journal using a file folder. And, you know, I've been on this file folder kick and I thought, ooh, a single signature in a file folder. How cool would that be? I think her file folder um, is a different size because she had to trim it down. But look, if I, I mean, of course I'd take the whole signature and of course I'm gonna trim the edges, but look it, this is like the perfect fit, right? 
how fun. <clears throat> and then she made um, this a top tuck, which I think I wanna do. And then she did some sewing around. It, it's super cool. Hers was a, I'll post her um, video below so you can check it out. Um, but hers was a shabby chic one and it turned out of course beautiful and she does the gesso thing so I think I want to do the same I'm going to put some gesso a little more than I would on the file folder because what I thought is I could kind of do some watercoloring and try and match the colors in the kit and kind of do like a watercolor wash kind of throughout the cover um so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get out my gesso, and I might not do this on camera because you've seen me. Ooh, I can't even open it. You've seen me paint um, the gesso on the other file folders. So I think I'll do that, and then we can kind of pick out some colors. All right, I'll be back. So I have my whoops, file folder. It kind of got stuck to my mat, but that's okay. File folder is drying over here to the side. And in the meantime, I was playing. I was picking colors that go with the kit. And so what I did is I kind of smushed some color on to my mat. Am I out of frame? And then took my brush and just put it on the um, file folder to kind of see if I liked the colors. And these are the six that I think I'll use. Seedless Preserve, set, oh my gosh, let me try this again. Seedless Preserve, Scattered Straw, Stormy Sky, Peeled Paint, Tea Dye, and Victorian Velvet. So I'm gonna set this aside. <coughs> My mat is a mess. Apologize. <laughs> and so you'll see I did, I mean, there were parts that I didn't cover, but pretty much the whole thing has a thin layer of just so. Gosh, words, words are hard. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, add a little more. And I'm just going to kind of play. And if this turns out horribly, <laughs> I have plenty of folders. You know what? Maybe I should. No, I'm not going to remember. I'll just set them to the side. And I might, we'll see. I might have to wait <clears throat> and let one color dry just because I don't really want to make mud. start with how about some of this green and again this is the peeled paint and I'm just gonna paint really <laughs> just kind of wash it on paint it on and when it dries it probably won't be so you know it'll dry lighter I think then maybe some scattered straw. But I thought this was fun and kind of matched the look of the kit. Kind of fun to watercolor with your inks too. If you don't have inks, I mean, if you have scribble sticks or distress um, crayons, anything would really work. All right. How about some tea dye? Oh, I already have it on there. Duh. I just need to wet it. Tea dyes kind of surprised me. I didn't think it would match the orangey color, but it's perfect. And that's blue. Purple. 
Oops, I don't want that. Put new green. Spray a little bit of water, get it some drops, and then I'm going to get my heat gun. It's looking fun. All right, let's add, see what happens if we add another layer. Is this my tea dye? Okay, and I'm gonna go over some of the color. Remember of this blue. It's looking fun. And then we can put some stuff on the cover. There's the back. We're going to do the same thing in the inside. I might fast forward this for you. I think that looks really fun. Cool. So, oh, let me get this out of the way. I think off camera, I'm going to stitch here, here, all the way around to here. But first, before I do that, I'm probably going to stitch here so it looks like it goes all the way around because I want this to be a top pocket. And then. I love it. And then we are going to put, you know, something on here for the cover. I think it's really fun. And then we will do something to kind of cover up that part, but 
I think it looks cool. All right, I will be back once I've done my sewing. I have stitched around the outside. Oh, shoot, I didn't stitch right there. Oh, well. All right, so, darn, darn, darn. <laughs> I just noticed that. And I've been playing around with some fabric that I had in my stash and a, um, a black and white image from the Arizona Highway. And I think this is going to be my cover. And I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and probably stitch around here. Um, and then... I think I'm going to leave this open for a pocket so I can stick a tag. And then once this is glued on, I might add a little something down here for embellishment. So I'll go stitch and be right back again. All right, it's all stitched. I decided instead of just doing the one on the purple, I went ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, and I did two more lines around the edges and I was doing a little bit of fraying. So I frayed some of these edges. I think that's pretty fun. And maybe a little bit more on the purple. And of course it will naturally just kind of happen. <laughs> All right, the green just won't stop. <laughs> okay, so, yep, I think. I want to make it a pocket. I think that'll be fun. Just the one that's open. So let's glue on. This is a, that's a fun picture with the Saloro, the black and white. I thought it was a nice contrast to all the color in the journal. And I really don't have any Saloros in my kits. I mean, they're mostly like barrel cactus and smaller cactus. So I thought Putting some Saloros on the cover would be fun. I'm going to add a ticket. I don't have the tickets made yet, but let's just get an idea. Or tickets, I mean, uh, you know, tags. Just to kind of get an idea of where I need to glue it. It's a fun fabric. <laughs> I like it. Too bad you don't see too much of it. I think I'll have to use some somewhere on one of the journal pages. miss this corner <laughs> okay and it looks like a little more might need something I don't know what we'll put but it needs a little something right there <clears throat> okay there's the cover and then next time we will start working in the signature. I have them all cut down, all the pages. Oh, you know what else? Yeah, I wanted to do some stenciling. So we'll start with some stenciling and then work on some pages. It's looking cute. And I love this first, this purple to go on the first page. We're gonna have to cover right here because I stuck it to the my mat and it pulled up some of the gesso. Yep, I'm liking it so far. All right, come on back and we'll work on the pages. Bye-bye. Have a wonderfully crafty day.